Halva, Wikipedia Audio Halva is any of various dense, sweet confections served across the Middle East, South Asia, Central Asia, West Asia, the Caucasus, North Africa, the Horn of Africa, the Balkans, Central Europe, Eastern Europe, Malta, and the Jewish diaspora. In some Indian cultures, the dish is known as a soup-based sweet. Identical sweets exist in other countries, such as China, though these are not generally referred to as halva. In global, popular usage it means desserts or sweet, and describes two types of desserts. Halva may also be based on various other ingredients, including beans, lentils, and vegetables such as carrots, pumpkins, yams and squashes. Etymology Halva can be kept at room temperature with little risk of spoilage. However, during hot summer months, it is better kept refrigerated, as it can turn runny after several days. The word halva entered the English language between 1840 and 1850 from the Yiddish halva, which came from the Turkish halva, itself ultimately derived from the Arabic, alu, a sweet confection. The Arabic root alu means sweet. Most types of halva are relatively dense confections sweetened with sugar or honey. Their textures, however, vary. For example, semolina-based halva is gelatinous and translucent, while sesame-based halva is drier and more crumbly. This type of halva is made by frying flour in oil, mixing it into a roux, and then cooking it with a sugary syrup. This variety is popular in India, Greece, Armenia, Iran, Azerbaijan, Turkey, Somalia, Pakistan, and Afghanistan. This variety of halva is produced and served in India, Afghanistan, Nepal, Pakistan, and surrounding countries. It is usually made with wheat semolina, sugar, or honey, and butter or vegetable oil. Raisins, dates, other dried fruits, or nuts such as almonds or walnuts are often added to semolina halva. The halva is very sweet, with a gelatinous texture similar to polenta, the added butter gives it a rich mouth feel. The standard proportions of semolina halva are, one part fat, two parts semolina, two parts sweetening agent, and four parts water. The semolina is sautéed in the fat, while a syrup is made from the sweetener and water. Then the two are mixed carefully while hot, and any extra ingredients are added. At this point, the halva is off-white to light beige, and rather soft. Depending on recipe and taste, it can be cooked a bit further, which makes it darker and firmer, or left to set as is. In India, halva is prepared in different forms. The recipes use flour, melted butter, or ghee, sugar and optionally acacia gum. It comes in various colors like orange, brown, green and white, in a translucent appearance studded with raisins, cashew nuts, pistachios, almonds, etc. Technically the term halva is used in native recipes throughout India, and though semolina halva is considered to be a quintessential northern confection, it is also quite popular in South India. A prominent South Indian version of halva is from Tirunelveli, a city in the state of Tamil Nadu. Another semolina preparation widely enjoyed throughout South India called Kesari or Kesari bath originates from the state of Karnataka. Alternative vegetable-based halva recipes popular in India and Pakistan use beetroots, potatoes, yams, and most commonly carrots, mung beans, or bottle gourds instead of semolina. Prepared with condensed milk and ghee without semolina to bind it together, 
the end result has a moist, yet flaky, texture when freshly prepared. Other examples include the famous Agra Pethi easily available at Taj Mahal, Agra. Cornstarch gelatinous halva is popular in Greece and Somalia and has many variations. The Farsala recipe is the most well known. It is quite sweet, with caramel-like syrup. This rice flour and coconut milk halva is common fare on the streets of Zanzibar. Types This type of halva is made by grinding oily seeds, such as sesame or sunflower seeds, to a paste, and then mixing with hot sugar syrup cooked to hard crack stage. This type is popular in Eastern Arab nations, the Mediterranean, and in Balkan regions and countries. Some include Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croatia, Romania, Serbia, Macedonia, Montenegro, Bulgaria, Russia, Greece, and Bangladesh, Cyprus, Egypt, Iraq, Iran, the Levant, Albania, Central Asia, Southern India, the Caucasus region, and Turkey. It is also popular in Algeria and on the central Mediterranean islands of Malta. Sesame halva is popular in the Balkans, Poland, Middle East, and other areas surrounding the Mediterranean Sea. The primary ingredients in this confection are sesame butter or paste, and sugar, glucose, or honey. So port, egg white, or marshmallow root are added in some recipes to stabilize the oils in the mixture or create a distinctive texture for the resulting confection. A version of sesame halva, called sesame crumble candy in China uses ground sesame and sugar, cooked to the hard ball stage because it is made crispier than other halvas. Other ingredients and flavorings such as pistachio nuts, cocoa powder, orange juice, vanilla, or chocolate are often added to the basic tahini and sugar base. Sunflower halva is popular in countries in Eastern Europe, including Belarus, Bulgaria, Romania, Moldova, Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia, Russia, and Ukraine as well as other former U.S.S.R. countries. It is made of sunflower seeds instead of sesame. Pismaniyi or floss halva is a traditional sweet, prepared in Kosaeli, Turkey, made by flossing thin strands of halva into a light confection. Made primarily of wheat flour and sugar, the strands are continuously wrapped into a ball shape and then compressed. The result is a halva with a light consistency similar to cotton candy. Floss halva can be found in regular and pistachio flavors, and there are brands with halal or kosher certifications. A similar pistachio-based version of floss halva is popular in North India. It tends to be slightly denser and is often referred to as patissa or sahan papdai. In Chinese cuisine, a floss-like candy similar to pismaniyi or pashamak halva, known as dragon beard candy, is eaten as a snack or dessert. A raw version of halva also has become popular among proponents of raw food diets. In this version, a mixture of raw sesame tahini, raw almonds, raw agave nectar and salt are blended together and frozen to firm. Flour-based Semolina Halva is the most common modern English spelling and the transliteration from most Balkan languages. Other transliterations include Elway, Zalwo, Halva, Halway or Halwai, Helva, Chalway, Halua, and Halva. Corn starch Rice flour Nut butter based Sesame Sunflower The word halawa in Arabic means sweetness, while the word halwa means sweets or candy. The word halva comes from the Arabic word halwa, 
the root word is hillway meaning sweet. Halva, halv in Albanian, is usually eaten as a dessert-based meal, that is, with no entrees or appetizers consumed prior. The majority of halva in Albania is flour halva, although home-cooked semolina halva and shop-produced sesame halva are also consumed. Wheat flour is usually used, although corn flour halva is also common. Halva is available in Argentina, especially from confectioners of Syrian Lebanese or Armenian origin. In the 1940s, a halva substitute named Manti Kal made with peanut butter was introduced by Rio Segundo Sgeo Argalos, a Greek immigrant family firm. It became a popular product. In 2001, the brand was sold to global firm Cadbury Schweppes, which altered the recipe. GEO Argalos now manufactures the original product under the name Nukarem. Both versions are available in candy stores and supermarkets. It is also popular with the Indians and Indo Caribbeans who brought their form of halva. Other In Baku, halva is likely to refer to the Turkish style, tahini based version. The most famous regional variant is from Shaki, where ki halva's halva refers to a layered baklava style pastry filled with spiced nut mix and topped by crisscrossed patterns of a red syrup made from saffron, dried carrot, and beetroot. In Kabbalah, it's possible to find a bald halva's a form of soft halva made from sugar and chestnuts. In Bahrain, the most popular form of halva is a jelly-styled sweet also known as halwe Bahraini in neighboring countries. And it is not like the halva that in most countries is based on sesame paste and in Kuwait called rahash. Various kinds of halua are prepared across Bangladesh and West Bengal. Some of the most common types of halua include semolina, chickpeas, flour, almond, carrots, and papaya. Halua is usually eaten as a rich dessert, but it is not uncommon for Bangladeshis to eat it for breakfast with traditional breads. Halva is widely used in Bosnia and Herzegovina and is available in different forms and flavors. In Brazil, which is home to the largest Syrian Lebanese population outside the Middle East, plain and chocolate tahini halva can be found in cans in some supermarkets, while fancy varieties are sold in specialized food shops. In Bulgaria, the term halva is used for several varieties of the dessert. Tahini halva is most popular and can be found in all food stores. Two different types of tahini halva are made one using sunflower seed tahini and another using sesame seed tahini. Traditionally, the regions of Yablanitsa and Haskovo are famous for their halva. Semolina halva is made at home and can be found only in some pastry stores. White halva, which is made of sugar, is popular on the last Sunday before Lent celebrated with customs, in one of which a string is tied to a piece of white halva and all the children, while standing in a circle must catch the turning piece of halva using only their mouths. Almost all types of halva in Bulgaria are flavored with essence of good King Henry. Floss Halva Halva is a sweet that is consumed in parts of Croatia. It is not uncommon to come across the specialty in the regions of Slavonia, Kordun, Lika, and Beringia or regions that at one time came into contact with the Ottoman Empire. Halva is especially popular in Slavonia during Kurva or local church fairs. Halawa Tehiniya or usually simply Halawa is a popular confection in Egypt that is relatively inexpensive can be bought for about EGP 20. It is sesame-based, and comes as plain, mixed with nuts, or mixed with chocolate. It can be enjoyed alone, 
or with baladi whole wheat round loaf or bread roll, and sometimes with the Arabic equivalent of clotted cream. Halawa is available as big blocks freshly cut according to weight, or pre-packaged in plastic containers or as snack bars. More recently, extra sweet halawa spread has been introduced. Less common is the fine, fibrous halawa shar. Cultural use Halva in Greece and Cyprus, known as halvas, is very popular and made either from tahini or semolina. Tahini-based halva can be found in plain form or containing nuts. The term tahini is of Middle Eastern origin, but it is made with sesame, and a sesame and honey sweet was made since the Minoan era. Cacao and honey-flavored halva also exists. Halva produced in northern Greece, known as Macedonian halva, is one of the best-known tahini-based varieties in Greece. Semolina-based halva is also a favorite, as is Farsala halva, a caramelized variety made from corn flour that originated in the town of Farsala, south of Larissa. Halva is generally consumed all year round, but especially during Great Lent. India has many types of halva, some unique to particular regions of the country. It is one of the popular sweets of India usually made from semolina. Albania Argentina Azerbaijan Halva was first introduced by the Persian and Arab invaders who brought the dish along with them hither. Various types of halva from India are distinguished by the region and the ingredients from which they are prepared. In northern India, the most famous include suji halva, ayatka halva, mung dal ka halva, gajar halva which traditionally belongs to Punjab and is referred to as gajrila, dadai halva, chana dal halwe, and satyanarayan halwe, and kaju halva. Kashi halva, made from winter melon or ash gourd, is a famous and traditional sweet of Karnataka, and mainly makes a regular appearance in traditional Brahmin weddings. Suji halwe is sold in many eateries in Karnataka as Kesari Bath, usually alongside pineapple. In the Indian state of Kerala, halva is known as halyava or alyava. It is one of the most commonly found or easily recognized sweets in bakeries throughout Kerala. Kojakode in Kerala, is famous for its unique and exotic halyava, which is popularly known as Kojakodan halyava. Significant Arab and Middle Eastern influence in this region, through ancient trade routes via the Arabian Sea and through Arab traders who settled here contributed to the evolution of Kojakodan halyava. Europeans used to call Kojakodan halyava sweet meat due to its texture. A street in Calicut where Kojakodan halyavas were sold was named Sweet Meat Street during colonial rule. The street still carries that name and is called Mithai Theravya which is the Malayalam for Sweet Street. Kojakodan halyava is mostly made from maida and comes in various flavors, such as banana, ghee, coconut, cashew, date, tender coconut, pineapple, jackfruit, etc. However, Karutha halyava made from rice is also very popular. Pure wheat halyava is also available now in some shops. In the Indian state of Tamil Nadu, Halva is known as Halwe or Alva. Tirunelveli, in Tamil Nadu, is famous for its unique and exotic Halyava, which is popularly known as Tirunelveli Halva. Significant for its taste, Tirunelveli Alva is mostly made from wheat. The maker of Halva is called a Halwai. Halva Arde is the Iranian term for tahini based Halva and may or may not include whole pistachios. Arde is processed sesame in the form of paste, usually sweetened with syrup. 
In Iran, halva usually refers to a related confection made from wheat flour and butter and flavored with rose water. Recipe The final product has a dark brown color. The halva is spread thin on a plate till it dries into a paste. Halva usually is served at funerals and other formal ceremonies, often with almonds or coconut shavings on the top. One variation from the Caspian region of Jilin is called Asili Halva and Mazandaran is called Koshk Halva. It is different from other types of halva prepared in Iran since it is based on rice flour rather than semolina, and is sweetened with honey instead of sugar. In Iran, halva is also eaten with lavish at breakfast. Iranian urbanites, especially in Tehran and Karaj, use melted chocolate and coffee to flavor the halva, which are black or dark brown in color, respectively. Confectionaries sell two-layered halva cut into diamond shapes and garnished with almond and pistachio slivers. These are often served in memorial services held in mosques or at the deceased person's grave. Tahini halva is very popular in Israel and among Jewish people all over the world. Spelled halva in English, it usually comes in slabs or small packages and is available in a wide variety of flavors, chocolate and vanilla being very common. The halva is almost always parva. Israeli halva will usually not contain wheat flour or semolina, but will contain sesame tahini, glucose, sugar, vanilla and saponaria officinalis root extracts, which are not usually found in other recipes. It is often served as a breakfast component at Israeli hotels, though it is not usually part of an Israeli breakfast, and it is even used in specialty ice cream. In the region of the Levant, which includes Israel, Lebanon, Syria, Iraq, Jordan, and Palestine, halawa is typically the sesame or tahini-based form, which can be flavored in various ways and may include pistachios, almonds, or chocolate. A large quantity of halawa is exported from Lebanon and Palestine throughout the world. Throughout Lebanese and Palestinian villages, sesame presses may be seen. In Libya and Tunisia, it is called halwa shamiya or simply shamiya, which means Levantine sweet, whereas the word halawa is never used. In the Baltic region it is found as a snack and sold packed in small pieces. Most popularly made from sunflower seeds or peanuts. In Republic of Macedonia, alva refers to a sweet which comes in a few varieties. Alva made from tahini is most used in Macedonia. Most popular is the alva from Nagadano and super alva from Skopje. Alva from semolina is made only at home. Izmirska halva brought back from Izmir, Turkey, of which large areas are populated by Macedonians, is a chocolate type of alva made from flour, cocoa, sugar, and peanuts. This alva is also made at home. Alva is also popular in the city of Prilip and surrounds which have been famous for food production since pre-Ottoman times. In Malta, the term Elway Tall Torque is used to refer to a tahini-based block confection sometimes containing pistachios or almonds. It forms part of the Maltese cuisine, and is a common sweet snack on the islands, especially served at the end of wedding celebrations and during feasts. In Myanmar, it is called Halawa, and is associated with the port town of Pathian in the Iyarwadi region. Burmese Halawa usually contains poppy seeds and is brown in color. It is popular as a gift item. In Oman, local halwa is made from eggs, red and white sugar, corn flour, and fat. The most popular Omani variations are made either with saffron and dried fruits, or with pureed dates. 
Halway is a common delicacy served with Arabic coffee at festivals and special occasions. Halva in Pakistan is similar to that in India and Bangladesh, distinguished by the region and base ingredients. Most common are the ones made from semolina, ghee, and sugar, garnished with dried fruits and nuts. Other types of halva replace semolina with certain vegetables, lentils, or nuts. Different regions have come to be associated with distinctive variations of the traditional halva, e.g. Sahan halva from southern Punjab, and Karachi halva from Karachi, Sindh. In Urdu, the word halva denotes a certain family of sweets of Persian origin and South Asian flair, and a patissier specializing in such sweets is called a halva. Halva in Poland is sesame-based. It is not usually made at home, but it is sold under various brands in the form of large or small bars, as well as boxed hard mass. It is a popular treat among all ages of Polish people considered a healthy alternative to other confectionery. Polish halva tends to be unflavored, the recipe relying heavily on sesame to give it its flavor. In Romania and Moldova, the term halva is used to refer to a sunflower-based block confection sometimes containing pistachios, almonds, or chocolate. In the Republic of Moldova, it is mostly referred to as halva de arsret, in Romania, it is known as halva de floria soralui. Halva came to Russia from Central Asia. Halva containing bars, cakes, or waffles are now widespread. Halva made from sunflower seeds is the most commonly found variety, as sunflowers grow in plenty in the warmer region of South Russia. Halva, generally is called alva in Serbian, while semolina-based is called sedna alva and sesame-based is called tan alva or tihen alva. It is common to the whole region. Alva is a typical sweet in local church fairs around Serbia. Also, sesame-based halva imported from Greece or the Republic of Macedonia is common in Serbian supermarkets. In Serbia of the 20 hundreds, halva is losing its popularity to other types of sweets and candies and more and more is becoming something of a luxury. In Somalia, halva is known as zalwo. A staple of Somali cuisine, it is a popular confection served during special occasions, such as Eid celebrations or wedding receptions. Zalwo is made from sugar, cornstarch, cardamom powder, nutmeg powder, and ghee. Peanuts are sometimes added to enhance texture and flavor. Aliwa is a sweet made from rice flour or potato either with sugar or treacle and often with cashew nuts. It is served during the Sinhalese New Year festival each mid-April. Soft sesame halva is made from sugar syrup, egg whites, and sesame seeds. Solid sesame halva is made from pulled sugar, repeatedly stretched to give a white color. Prepared sesame is added to the warm sugar and formed on big trays. In Tajikistan, as well as in Uzbekistan, the local name is lavs. The term halva is used by Turkish people to describe tahin, flour, or semolina halva, called tahin helvas, unhelvas, and irmak helvas, respectively. Yaz helvas is made of almond or walnut. Semolina halva has a cultural significance in the melting pot of Turkish, Yazidi, and Kurdish tradition, and symbolizes the religious aspects of the progression to agriculture. Traditionally, Halva prepared with flour is cooked and served upon the death of a person. In addition, some sweets and desserts are also called helva, such as pamuk helva or kaz helva, a sweet-like dessert which is widespread in Turkey. In Safranbolu, kaz helva is also called leaf halva.
Assyrians also consume Turkish halva as a traditional dessert. Halva is made from a paste of ground sunflower seeds and sunflower oil, laid out in a sheet and cut into brick form, it tends to be less sweet than other halvas. The sunflower is one of the symbols of Ukraine and sunflowers carry a very special meaning in Ukrainian culture, making halva a popular snack. Standard flavors include vanilla, raisin, and chocolate. Halva can be found in ethnic Indian, Jewish, Argentine, and Middle Eastern community stores. Besides being imported from the Middle East or India, one can find the version manufactured in the U.S. by Joiva in Brooklyn. New York-based restaurant Alili run by Lebanese-American Philippe Massoud provides halva-based desserts. Greek-Americans have also made this sweet popular in Greek delis, supermarkets, and homes. The crumbly peanut center of Reese's Peanut Butter Cups may be the closest thing to a uniquely American halva confection. In Afghanistan, Turkey, and Iran, after the burial ceremony, on the 7th and 40th day following the death of a Muslim, and also on the first anniversary, semolina helva or flower helva is cooked and offered to visitors and neighbors by relatives of the deceased. For this reason, flower helva is also called in Turkish olu helvas, meaning helva of the dead. The expression roasting the helva of someone suggests the person referred to died some time ago. In episode 46 of the Turkish TV series Winter Sun, Smile tells a joke. The Greek saying anti rehalva is used when the speaker wants to offend someone, usually a man, by calling him a coward and slash or chubby. Another saying, dating from the period of Ottoman domination, states Rho Omega Mu Alpha Iota Kappa Omicron Kappa Alpha Beta Gamma. Tau Omicron Rho Kappa Iota Kappa Omicron Chi Alpha Lambda Beta. In Egypt, it is believed that halawa is a prized item within the incarcerated community, and is offered to inmates by visiting family members, this belief has often been portrayed in literature and media. This has led to the exploitation of this cultural phenomenon by a local halawa manufacturer in a recent advertising campaign. In Bosnia and Herzegovina and Serbia, the phrase ide slash prodage se kao halva or Styrian dialect of Slovene rikao alva is a colloquial expression denoting a product's sales are very high similar to the English expression sells like hotcakes or the German expression verkauft sich wie warm semeln. In regions of India where Hindi is a spoken language, which literally translates to it is halway, is a snide rhetorical question used to indicate to another person that he or she is about to do or ask for something that's far less trivial than he or she possibly comprehends. Halway Purikuna is an idiom for a celebration. Lay Halway is a Bengali interjection expressing exasperation or unpleasant surprise. In Pakistan, the term Halva Malvai is used to refer to religious people who are hypocritical and indulge in lavish lifestyles. Recurring references to Halva have been made in Mad Magazine over the years. Alan Sherman's song The Streets of Miami, a Jewish-centered parody of The Streets of Laredo contains the line, I shot and Sam crumbled slash just like a peace halva. A minor planet, 518 Halae, is named after halva. Bahrain Bangladesh Bosnia and Herzegovina Brazil Bulgaria Croatia Egypt Greece and Cyprus India Iran Israel Lebanon, Syria, Iraq, Jordan, and Palestine 
Libya and Tunisia. Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia. Republic of Macedonia. Malta. Myanmar. Oman. Pakistan. Poland. Romania and Moldova. Russia and Belarus. Serbia. Somalia. Sri Lanka. Tajikistan and Uzbekistan. Turkey. Ukraine. United States. Cultural references.